peeps, welcome back to Mental Health Naps. My name is Kaisa, and this is where we talk about mental health, sleep apnea, and some difficult things through smiles and not tears. And we do this by focusing in on one word and what it made me think of, or its definition, or whatever. It gives us a topic. And the word of the day is actually failure. How do I put this? I think there's a lot to go into the conversation about failure. I think there's a lot to be said about what it is, how you define it, what it is in your life, what does it look like, all that stuff. And I want to use this video to talk about one very specific aspect of failure. Because recently I was asked what I think the fear of failure is, or why do people fear failure? And I think it's a very big question because we're all individuals, we're all different. I couldn't help but think if we're going to understand why people are afraid of failure, we have to understand where that fear of failure came from and why it exists. If you take the time to be really honest with yourself and answering the question of where your fear of failure comes from, I think it really can help coping with mental health issues. I know for me, it kind of was deconstructing moment of understanding why I'm afraid of failure and how that has played a role in how I see myself and how I see myself operating in the society in which I live and how I see myself operating amongst other people in feeling accepted or not. And I think there are quite a few things that create these things called expectations. And I think when you address the expectations that have been put on you by others or that you've put on yourself, those expectations are kind of the fodder for fear of failure in a way. As I was thinking really hard about this, and this is what I came up with, when it comes to the fear of failure, it's kind of hard to determine what is actual failure. Well, I think we can all agree that the definition of failure is the opposite of success. It is a place that is considered undesirable, an undesirable outcome. It doesn't make you feel good. I'm sure you can pinpoint in your life some major fail moments. Now, I'm sure you probably never want to feel that again, but what you might define as a failure might be different than what I define to be a failure, depending on the expectations you have been given or lived by. I think a major place expectations come from to start out with would be from how you were raised. Think about the village that raised you. What expectations did they give you? From this particular group, were you given expectations, don't follow my mistake, or somebody else was used as the example of failure, or you hold that you never want to fail in this way because of this and that bad consequence will happen, or were you taught that, you know, failure is an opportunity in order to figure out how to make something work better? I mean, all of these different ways of looking at failure, I've heard people talk about that's what they were raised with. So those kind of expectations become ingrained in us a little bit. I know for me, definitely it became ingrained. And I think when it comes to mental health, it's like, a lot of the problem comes from maybe not particularly fitting into this particular box of expectation that you were given. I mean, that doesn't help anybody feel good. Um, the next group I would say that would put expectations on you would be the culture or the society in which you live in. I mean, even though we live in the world where the internet is a thing, culture to culture, globalization is a thing, a lot of people from across the world have the same ideas anymore because of how ideas and thoughts are processed and exchanged by just the click of a button. I think there's something to be said for that. And then I think there's a whole other conversation about what you actually see when you're consuming the internet or consuming social media for that matter. It's like you're being spoon fed what happiness should look like or what success looks like. It looks like this very particular square photo on a feed. So I think expectations come from that as well. Another thing is we put expectations on ourselves based on the experiences that we've been through or the examples that we've seen or maybe from a little bit of trial and error because we wanted to be accepted by particular people. I think about the kid on the playground who wants to be accepted by the other kids. Well, they're going to act a certain way so that the other kids like them. And if there's a mismatch in how that kid acts to get the other children to like them compared to how they feel on the inside, that's probably going to create some mental health issues later. So as I've been stewing on this whole idea of fear of failure, I think it's important to start with identifying where that fear developed for you. What does that look like for you? Where did those expectations start? Why are you scared of those expectations? What is the absolute worst thing that could happen to you? Because I think with developing good mental health habits, and I know for me, on my mental
still healing journey, it kind of became this whole thing of, I had to give myself permission to fail. I had to give myself permission to go through the growing process, which comes from failure. Because for me, it was like, you have to decide for yourself when you fail, how are you going to respond? And everybody responds different. You can come back from it as far as trying again, just in a different way, or completely scrap the idea or whatever you were trying to do and go in a different direction. How do you view that? In my head, neither one of these are failures. It's a redirection. I think for me personally, when it came for failure, as far as dealing with the sleep apnea and feeling like I'm not doing what other kids my age were doing and having to take some time for my health, that doesn't make me a failure. That just makes me have a different situation that's outside of the expectations of people my age. I encourage you that if you're afraid of failure, which I think is a very natural thing of being, it's something that's really important to realize that it's going to be okay. Failure is a part of the process. Failure is actually a way that you can get to know yourself better in a more complete way because you tried something and it didn't work. But now you can say you try and you don't have to think of the what ifs. Just something to think about when it comes to what is the fear of failure because I think it's different from person to person depending on your disposition, depending on your experience, your background, what expectations that you have been raised with or live with or put on yourself. And I think it's healthy to challenge those expectations to see what is serving you and what is not because I feel like that really challenges your fear of failure. Anyway, I hope that made sense. Talking about the fear of failure, I think is a huge conversation. I'm sure I missed some things. I think it's an important thing to start with where your fear of failure comes from and what it looks like for you when it comes to healing from something major that happened in your life that you consider a failure and changing your perspective. Anyway, that's really all I have to say about the word failure today. I hope you have a wonderful, successful day. And until the next one, have a nice nap.